Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? Um, feeling better? Gonna do another pour, another 12 by 36. Let me show you the results from the last one. Yeah. This guy, oh gosh, how am I gonna get it close? It dried. I, this, y'all, a lot of you were like, oh my God, you had too much white paint on the canvas. It wasn't, I didn't have enough paint. It was just that it's, the Valspar 2000 is really like thick and creamy. So I swapped out my house paint today for something that's actually cheaper and a little more runny. So um, yeah, I think that was my problem. But this dried fantastic and it's not gonna show up. It's very, very shimmery because those colors are all metallic. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna hit my ceiling. That's what's gonna happen. It's gonna bump, yeah, I'm gonna bump my ceiling in a second. So they're like, there's the bottom. Really, really cool. And then it comes down. I'm in love with it. Like, I just, it's really, really, really stunning. And then all the way down to the bottom. So yeah, there's that guy. Um, that will not get resin. That might just get a coat of like satin varnish. Um, it's very soft looking. I don't think it needs to be blingy. So I, I won't do that to this one. But that'll be up in Etsy in about a week. Um, I couldn't get over how fast it dried, like lickety split. Anyway, let's get started. Let me get you down. There's my new, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, that's pretty good. I go this way. Uh, yeah, it's really, look at that. I have about four inches from the edge of my counter. A little scary, but we'll roll with it. Um, so the house paint I'm gonna use today is Glidden Essentials in semi-gloss. I made up a little over two cups of it right here and I added almost a quarter cup of um, GAC 800 to prevent crazing and it is definitely um, not thinner but more fluid than the Valspar was. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a pour across, oh my gosh. Karen, don't put your uh, cup in the paint. Oh my gosh, you guys with the comments about all the um, funny names, the I'm a Rosebud and Robin Hood and Chris Massey or Christmassy, I was in a fit of giggles. So thank you for those, that was a lot of fun. All the other ones, the inappropriate ones that I won't talk about, they cracked me up too. So we're gonna leave it like that. And I can add more paint on the sides. Um, we're gonna use, today I have fluid acrylics and uh, mixed in with my Shelly Art pouring medium, which was using the, I'll just put it up because I can't remember and I can't see the can from here. It's HGTV base three something. So it'll pop up on the screen. And then colors we have Let's, let me can you line them up there. We only have three today. So the first one, the purple is permanent violet dark. And I, I didn't add enough to make it like super, super dark. That's one thing I love about using uh, the fluid acrylics is you can um, decide how dark or light you want the color to be. And then over here, this is an awesome color. This is Cronacridone Azo, Nickel Azo Gold. And this one can be really dark and very, very powerful. I have a, like a little cup here that's a much darker shade. Um, this is really pretty when it hits the white um, because then it turns into a really pretty like gold color. Um, and it's very uh, pretty when it hits the next color, which is Utrecht's red violet so i think i have a little example i was playing last night this is just a little six by six that i was goofing around on 
um, trying to be all abstract. But these are the colors, so that's like how dark the, the violet or the purple can get. And then in here you can see the that red violet in this yellow gold color, how it changes. That's the uh, azo nickel gold. So when I saw all that, I knew that that's, this was going to be the color scheme uh, for this big guy. And then my um, cell activator is the usual. This is a uh, Amsterdam titanium white. It's a four to one ratio. Um, I'm getting really low on it. Um, but I did use my Australian flood flow troll today. And then I did make up the cell activator in black as well. I don't know if I want to use it though with these colors because we're just, I don't know. I feel like it's too stark. We'll see, we'll see. But this is carbon black with the Amsterdam, um, the Amsterdam, the Australian flood flow troll. And uh, to all my Australian friends, my heart is with you. I, I did a pour last night trying to look like flames. It's on my, um, on my Facebook page because I didn't want to watch the news and then I broke down and it's just so 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 awful you guys oh my gosh i'll cry over it it's just you know and i've never even been to australia but you know just gosh i can't even talk about it you're in my thoughts and prayers though my goodness all right so i'm thinking about my order and what do I want to just do dark to light? I do want the white to hit this. So I think I will. I'm just going to go dark to light. And Whoops, don't drop the spoon in there. So there's the purple. There's the red violet. And again, if this doesn't work out, I will swipe it just like last time. And um, a couple of you wrote saying, use a paper towel, use a paper towel. And I have used paper towels and I can do that and I will do that today. I just really want to, you know, conquer using the, the tool that's made for swiping, um, which is that, that really long, skinny, what did I do with it, with this guy? Cause that's what this is for so I wanted to like you know become proficient in using the tool that you're supposed to use for this just like a little you know artist thing but I do agree that the paper towel or um, the plastic sheets work really well all right here we go give this a mix this is slightly thinner than these I'm nervous. I am nervous. The big guys are always nerve wracking, right? All right. Grab the hair dryer. Here goes nothing. We'll see if it moves better today. All right. Cool air. so good great cells great lacing awesome colors got a little more white cells than I expected but that's okay it doesn't bother me let me flip this hopefully without spilling I got my uh, icky carpet down how do I do oh, I did pretty well 
All right, go the other way. happier still have a little bit of a straight line um, but let's see what happens when we give it a tilt really pretty I'm just gonna let it settle for a second and so far I'm like all neat on my counter I should shut up though because I'll jinx myself amazing amazing a couple little parts like the big glob right there let me grab a popsicle stick It is kind of awesome that normally, like if you want a better result, you have to spend more money and use a better product. This was the opposite, like the cheaper house paint wins the day, which is awesome. <laughs> I might make this white, but we'll see. This one's just too globby right here. Globby, is globby a word? Probably not. And I do want to give a plug, um, if you haven't taken the um, Shelly Art course, go to um, shellyart.com.au. It really is worth it to learn how to do this technique. Um, really, really uh, kind of amazing how she came up with this. And, oops. I just kind of love it. This is looking really great. Like, so great, I wish it was just all the way to the edges. Because now I'm uh, afraid to tilt. I'm wondering if I should add some white just to help things move a little bit. Let's give it a, a little baby tilt and we'll see how it goes. Oh, and if you do sign up for the course, there's a link in the description to get 15% off. Just use my code. Uh, which is awesome. See, oh, I wanted to point out too. So this Azo Nickel Gold, see how it's like a bright sunny yellow here, but it's more orangey in other places. I really like that. So the, um, the uh, Permanent Violet Dark and the Azo Gold are transparent colors and that Red Violet like this shade here, that is opaque. But I gotta say, everyone like, oh, it works better with transparent colors. I haven't found that to be the case. I have just like, I just use whatever I wanna use. Or maybe I just been, you know, had some dumb luck, I don't know. All right, tilting time. I'm gonna give a little blow with my mouth right here that's the only this is all see how this is all marrying up so I don't have that line but right here it really it needs a little something something if it doesn't want to sew up we'll leave it because gosh it's not worth fighting fighting for that right there right all right let's go your way first and see how much of this moves. Yeah, it's slow. It's moving off one. I am gonna add a line of paint just to help it giddy up. I don't know if I told you guys about my daughter had a sleep apnea test because she has all kinds of um, physical deformities in her sinuses and inside her face and her 
palate of her mouth and everything from uh, from her birth mother drinking alcohol while she was pregnant. And then um, Chloe was three months premature on top of it. So her insides are a bit of, bit of a mess. Well, anyway, the sleep apnea test came back like really mild. They're like, oh, just use nose spray. So I'm really happy about that. So that means she, she is breathing at night. And then now she's wearing a, uh, kind of want this side to go. One side's going, but not the other. Why aren't you moving? She has to wear um, an eye patch for two months, like six hours a day. I'm cheating by pressing on the bottom of the canvas. Look at that. Missing a corner right here. I am not gonna worry about that corner. This one too. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Let me see if I can, you know, I don't trust myself flipping it. I'm just gonna to have to tilt toward me. Um, so if I lose some of this off frame, I'm sorry. Let me add my white. Well, anyway, she has to wear this eye patch and then she has to get um, surgery to correct the muscle in her one eye. And you know how, like how kids are, like we have to like yell at her to brush her teeth. Like go brush your teeth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like kid stuff that they don't want to do. Um, but with the eye patch, for whatever reason, she has been so good about like, she has to wear it six hours a day, right? She gets up and she puts it on and she's like, okay, it's 9 a.m. I have to wear this till three and it's just weird how kids, you know, some things they're just very responsible for and other things you have to fight with them. It's been kind of proud of her. Kind of, not kind of, I am. So I got up this morning and there she was like making herself some egos and wearing her eye patch. I was like, go girl. All right, sorry I was being really careful there because because I'm in love with it and I don't want to wreck it. All right. Let's go the other way. See if we slide better now. Yeah, here we go. This side is like, woohoo, let's go. Let's go places. Oh, I lost that really big cell. Uh, I'll go just a little more because there's a spot I'm not fond of. And I got four white corners. So I think I'm going to leave them. Or I guess I could like huff and puff here. Maybe, I don't know. Y'all, this is looking... Oh, even the part here got some cells. That's good. This is looking really great. Oh my God. Let me uh, go back the other way just a little bit. Throw off this one side here. Let me stare. Oh, uh, this is what I wanted. <gasps> Y'all, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. See, do I want it? Do I want to worry about that? What do you guys think? See, this is, there's only one, there's only one spot where it did what I didn't want it to do in the last couple videos. And that was like get cells that were all by themselves on the edge. I got them right there, but geez, I'm done. I think I am done. I leave it. I'm gonna get rid of this blotch because it looks out of place right there. And I can't think of anything else. Uh, I need coverage in a couple little spots. And I have just enough house paint left, like on my corners here. And then I'll get you guys down. And this bad boy is just gonna sit here Let's see how long the other one um, was dry in about six hours so I'm kind of like tempted not to post this 
I think I won't. I think I'm going to hold off in posting this so that for once I can show you the dried results um, at the end of the video. Wouldn't that be like... I really should do that more. I just get all excited to get videos up. Some on this corner to run off. A little bit here. I'll be taking a break from this style. I'm gonna go back to my uh, my glue recipe. And uh, like I said, I wanna do some um, tree ring pours. And I wanna do a pour um, to show you guys how you can get like fake texture where you have a painting that looks like it's all bumpy but it's smooth um let me give you a little preview oh no i'll save it for next time i was going to give you a preview of what that might look like but i'll wait and surprise you ta-da ta-da you guys i did it i did it i did it the colors are phenomenal let me get you down get my gloves off i'm not touching this i'm gonna like put police tape all around my kitchen island no one come near I hope I don't turn you off. <clears throat> so, top right side there. See, like, don't, do you think I should worry about those little corners? I think not, right? It's not worth fussing with, I think. But there's the, like, lightning. All the way down. I love the blending of the uh, purple with the red violet really pretty this section here too like i love how that has the light like it looks like yellow and then orange that azo nickel gold is the bomb y'all the cells and the lacing really really phenomenal so if you uh have taken the course or you, or even if you haven't you want to try it um the cheaper house paint is definitely better it moves the valspar 2000 this part right here, hold on, it's just, let me pause right there. The Valspar uh, 2000 is really great for making blooms though. But for blowing it out, um, the cheaper stuff just work better. Where am I? Okay, only 22 minutes, so I'm gonna let this dry and be good and have patience and come back in, uh, in a couple, well, it'll be a couple hours and show you the finished results. Take care, see you soon. Hey guys, I'm back. It's a day and a half later. Before I show you the dried results, I wanted to give a plug. Um, I'm holding a little, it's really not an auction, but a giveaway on my Waterfall Acrylics Facebook page. There's a link in the description. If you go there, you'll see a post where uh, if you donate to any charitable organization in Australia that's dedicated to helping the wildlife there um, that are uh, being, you know, decimated by the fires. Uh, all you have to do is donate. I don't care if it's a buck, five bucks, 10 bucks, whatever you can give. And then just let me know in the comments that you've donated. It's honor system. And on Tuesday, I will take all the names of the folks who have donated and uh, give away a free little painting here. It's an eight by eight. It'll be resined shipped free anywhere on the world so please consider donating today and let's show you the good stuff <clears throat> so here's the dried result i'm just going to hold it up i guess like this to show you you know it's kind of hard i can't get it so long and skinny to get it this way so we'll just go this way really well i did go ahead and blow out the uh four corners you know i would afterwards i don't know why i just didn't do it on film but um really just amazing high drama on this guy it will it'll look fabulous like on a long skinny wall you know like a white wall big pop of color really really great so super happy it's very glossy um <clears throat> from the high gloss uh, that Sherwin Williams um, HGTV um, house paint I used as the base. It, it came out super glossy, but I am going to resin this baby um, just because I know it's canvas. I usually don't resin on canvas, but it's long and skinny and it'll be able to support the weight. And this one definitely calls for the bling bling. So yeah, there she be. 
I hope you guys like it. I love it. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, y'all. Bye-bye.